While Android is still the king, iOS is a significant platform and you may want to switch to an iPhone at some point. We won't judge. After all, there are some things iOS does better than the Android. You will probably want to transfer all your data to your new phone. This transition is often seamless depending on which devices are involved. In this case, we are talking about two completely different platforms, so it might require some extra work. Here are the best ways to transfer your contacts from Android to iOS. Now let's see, one of the best and efficient ways to transfer contacts from Android to iPhone is through a VCF file and through the email. So what you have to do, you go to the contacts app, right? You select any of the, any of the contacts you want to share. Either it's all the contacts or some of the contacts. In my case, I'll do one or two contacts, right? So I'll select first two contacts and you can see on the bottom left corner, it says share. When we go to share, we'll have a lot of different options, but what we are going to select is Gmail. So we'll go to Gmail. So we'll email the contacts to our email, which we can, you know, then uh, sign in to our iOS device, and then we can download the VCF file. So we'll email the contacts, as you can see right here, the contacts.vcf. So it has created the VCF file. So what I have to do is that on the top right corner, just select on send and the contact has been shared. So the next step is you go to your Gmail account. I'll go to search and I'll search for my Gmail app. So when I go to my Gmail app, you can see right here, I have emailed the contacts here and here I can download the VCF file. You can see the download icon right here. So when you click on the file, it gives you three options. I'll select the contacts and allow contacts to access photo, media and files on your device. I'll click on allow and you can see import contacts, the two contacts I've uh, shared and I'll click on save. And now the thing is that uh, because I have a lot of Google accounts open here, so I'll select one of the account. So I'll select the first one and I'll select. And now, as you can see that the contacts have been downloaded and synced with my Google account. So that's the easiest way to transfer contacts from Android to an iPhone or the iOS device because uh, the VCF file plays a role of downloading the contacts and directly uh, saving it to your device, either it's an Android or if it's an iOS device. Okay, after sending the file from the Android device to my Gmail account, I'll go to my iOS device, right? And I'll go to the email. And I'll go to the email. As you can see, it's right here, the file I've sent. Now the easiest way to do is that you can see the download icon right here on my iOS device. I'll just click on it and you can see the contacts I have uh, sent through my Android device to the email uh, no matter it's a Gmail account or no matter if you send to a Yahoo email or anything. But when you send a VCF file and I'll select these two and I'll go add all two contacts, right? When I add all two contacts, create new contacts or add all two contacts. When I add all two contacts and, and yes, as you can see, the contacts have been saved in my in my iOS device. As you can see, this contact, I didn't have it before, but now I have it on my uh, iOS device. So this is the best way to transfer the contacts from an Android device to an iPhone or the iOS device.